So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted a theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and entertainment purposes. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your television set. This is a pixie bell. The sound is much too high for human ears. Oh, there you are, Tink. Hey, get that stuff off of me. <laughs> if you're familiar with the story of Peter Pan, you know that a little sprinkling of Tinkerbell's fairy dust can make you fly. <laughs> Tink. Tink, wait a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? Aren't you going to take the audience along? Thank you, Tinkerbell and Walt Disney. Um, I'll take it from here, though. I'm going to show some, some behind-the-scenes stuff on here while I'm doing this for you guys. And because there is a behind-the-scenes that's like 10 minutes on YouTube, so I'm going to put some like things in the background, and that way you guys can see that. But this is a movie that, yes... It does have bad things that are in it, like the Red Men Red um, song, but there are good things in it. Then we have a song that got deleted that was called um, Captain Hook. It was called um, um, The Crocodile Smile um, that you can hear, actually, every time you hear the crocodile like doing it. Like, you can hear the dun 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 Dun, dun. That is the what's left of that song. If you want to go look it up, you can. It's still up there. It still exists. It's just not in the movie. What sucks? Cause I remember when I was a little kid, I watched this thing called Sing Alongs, um, the Don't Exist Anymore, where that song was actually played in um, the in the sing along, and I read them like seven words. I'll read, I'll sing them to you. Then we'll get to the thing. We also got some th things to do during this review, but we'll, hold on. Okay, you guys, ready? Never smile at a crocodile. No, you can't get friendly with the crocodile. Don't get taken by his look and grin. Imagine how he you'll fit in. His skin. Never smile at a crocodile. No, you. You can't tip your hat at a crocodile. Don't stop. Uh, talk away. Never run. Never walk. Uh, never run. Walk away. Say goodbye. Not good day. Clever and decided and never smile at Mr. Crocodile. You may very well be a bed a lot in the choirs of your head but there's always a place that the time time or place to forget the choir in this great never smile at a crocodile no you can't get friendly with the crocodile don't be taken by his welcome grim imagine how you be fit into his skin Never smile at a crocodile. No, you can't. No, never tip your hat. Stop and talk. Walk away. Never, never run. Walk away. Say goodbye. Not good day. And clear the side. And never smile at a crocodile. So there you go. There's a song. Um, is written by um Frank, Walter and um Jack, um Longshore. And so let's get on to the very first Peter Pan movie um, that was made in 1924. Yes, and Walt went and saw this one when he was a little kid, when he was little, and 
when he's like when he was young so and this is where he got the idea to do it and he's had the idea to do this one if you look in um pinocchio this is one of the books they had in the background is peter pan and he had the right to do Peter Pan ever since, basically, um, after Snow after Snow White. But, you know, the war did not allow him to have the right to do it. Which is sad. He didn't, like, he had to, like, give all his time to doing all those propaganda stuff. And doing things for the country. Which he did not mind doing, because he loved America. But... And love his country, but he had but he had to put away the movies that he really wanted to do instead. And a lot of his um, artists were out doing the war or on str or on strike or doing some other stuff. So he didn't really have what he could at the time period. So what's so we got more artists around 1953 and before because it takes a long time to animate these stuff. So much so, they have, and the, and before they animated, they, the animators had to watch um, the people that they made, the people that they picked to do all the um, acting. That's right, the person who did Captain Hook, and the person who did Smee, the person who did Wendy, the person who did Peter Pan. Yes, Peter Pan's stories, actor story sucked. If he... It's not window for him. This is one of the last movies that he did for Disney. But this is the last movie he did for Disney because I don't think it was really Walt's fault. It's um one of the other people who picked who worked there didn't want didn't think he can do it as an adult. But so I really have to say about that. But it's sad what happened. We can't really do anything about it. And yes, there's a scene where a lot of people don't like. About the, about the Native Americans, the Indians. The thing I see about it is... Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, I think about that scene is that... This play, this book was written by J.M. Barry. And he had a hard life. And back in his time, people, when they're kids... Dream uh, uh, when they're little boys, they think of um, two. They have um, dreams of two things: fighting, na fighting Native Americans or Indians or pirates. And he put both those things in his stories, and that's part of the thing. That, that's and also meeting mermaids, I guess. But um, I think out of those three things that are betrayed the best. Probably pirates. Second, the mermaids, because they are, they do say in this movie, we're only trying to drown her. Um, and the Native Americans are treated badly. To me, I really think in the play, in the story, they're treated badly. Yes, the song is terrible. I totally agree. I may not look it. I have 1 16th of Cherokee blood in me from my father's side and I totally can understand why somebody would think this song's racist while these two scenes are racist while the men look weird and Tiger Lily is the one that looks normal and she's a little girl and so I can totally see why some people would want a newer version of this movie but we do have newer versions of this movie okay i have not watched the newer version yet i will next week i promise you i will put myself through that torture for you guys for you guys i don't want to watch it but i'm going to okay um but i want to watch this movie first because i want to watch my captain hook be scary because 
Yes, Burning he is funny, but he's also scary. Shoulder, he shoots a man head, while he's and singing. You if you got the real and to do just it, just because he's getting on his nerves, then he then he puts woman's other some little thing um, had cast members that are crewmates and, uh, into that the would water. Make the scene come alive. Well, because um, he says, well, because no splash, Captain. So you want to splash, Mister Kai? I'll get you a splash. Dozens so, of yes. story treatments and, and thousands of drawings. Of Walt Disney's Peter Pan slash 12 was year old finally finished. Or 14 year old it was first released on February 3rd, of, 1953, um, and, and was an immediate um, audience favorite. Technically, three it has remained one of Disney's life, greatest animated Peter is based achievements off of, um, and a beloved his brother David. Classic. When we Peter, Peter, little boy, Pan, he what? adopted, and maybe himself, back, basically. Right. So it's a story yes. that. And meaning for everybody. He also was adults, appeared in one of his you know, other books back and for this. Boy who doesn't want to and the, so yeah. The idea of keeping that and spirit, I guess John and Michael were based off the other two kids. And Wendy is based off well, that's a very of strong um, idea and a very Peter's magical one that, that of his mom or the girl and then, of that um, was the mom with of the three Disney kids. Magic. And uh, I mean, uh, talk about mostly you know, a perfect marriage. And a, you know what Captain Hook's based off of? I would say he's based off the fear of growing up. And, and basically, yes. Because that is why um, both, usually both in this movie and in the plays, Peter, um, Captain Hook is played by the same exact act, played by the dad. Because we notice Mr. Darling sounds an awful lot like Captain Hook. He does not hide it at all. So, yeah. And there is other act. A lot of the actors in this movie have done things for Disney before. For example, um, Wendy's actress is Alice in Wonder is um, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and she lived pretty long since she was a little girl during this. And unlike Peter's act, Peter Pan, unlike um, Peter Pan's actor, she lived to her adulthood so long that she was in Kingdom Hearts and returned to play both Wendy and Alice. And she was able to sound pretty close to what she did back then. So it's kind of hard. Not, like, do you, want, do you ever play the first Kingdom Hearts game? And also she uh, came back to um, for Dream Drop Distance. She also returned for um, to play Kyrie's grandma. I think that's basically it. Do you want to tell me anything else that she did for later on? Let me know. Um, Mr. Smee played a lot of characters. I can like show you a picture that shows a lot of the characters that he he played in. Captain Hook. Um, he was um in another cartoon short. Um, for a different country, another company, and also he played the black, played the um. The Magic Mirror and a TV show with that went with Wendy on like I think on like on the Disney Channel. Maybe one day I'll we'll actually if I can find it, I can probably like do a review for it and like do a history of it. You want to? Um. So yeah. And I think that's basically it with the actors. I got most of their names on there on the TV screen. If you want me, let's get on to the artists though. And the days and stuff like that, directors and yada yada yada. Okay, we got directors. There's three different directors: um, Hel Helman, Luke's, Clinton, German, um, Clifford Jackson, and story. Ted Sherman, um, Ted, um, Edmer, okay, Ed Merman, Penner, Penner, Bill, Pens Wilson. Elder, John. I'm just going to show you pictures of them. But. And there's also. They also have the starters. Um, so who animated each of them? Let's go and find out. I am. Um, Captain Hook was animated by. Um, Frank Thomas. Uh, they also got Mark Davis, who did Tinkerbell. Where is he? Okay. And... 
Um, we got Ollie Johnson and Mr. Smee. Um, let's see. Who did Peter Pan? Try and look. Hold on. They don't have it on that website, so hold on. Milk Collin was the animator for this movie, for Peter Pan. And you had to wonder, this had to be really hard for him because he is literally trolling somebody who is flying. And who's like doing acrobatics and stuff like that. And had to be really hard for them to draw. And yes, there was a darker version of this that was made, but you know Walt, he would not want to do a darker version. So that is technically lost media because there is drawings in this behind the scenes thing. I'll probably put it down in the link down below so you guys can watch the entire thing if you want to. Um, where Nana did go to go with them, but that was darker version and maybe more like the book. And maybe Walt said, hell no, not going to happen. <laughs> not under his watch. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's basically it. So, what do I think of this movie? It's fine for what it is. Is it 100% like the book? No. The reason why, um, like, Wendy's supposed to be the, like, Wendy goes to, in the book, Wendy goes to Neverland and then she learned because she likes Pe she likes T likes Peter Pan, and then she has a a fairy who tries to kill her. Then she has a bunch of of mermaids who try to kill her. Then she has a pirate who tries to kill her. And the whole thing, basically, I think um, she didn't like the fact that. Um, that Peter is not very mature, he acts like, like a little kid, and she wants to go home. That's basically what is, and she wants to grow up, because she does not want to be immature all of her whole her life, and that's fine. You're allowed to have a child in your heart, you're allowed to have, you're allowed to be, a, you're allowed to be immature sometimes, but also be mature sometimes. That's why I think about this story, and it's what's supposed, supposed to teach kids that. So, wish me luck next week when I watch the Peter Pan live-action movie. Pray for me, people. Pray. And I give this movie a 7 out of 10. So, there you guys go. It's not the best Disney movie out there, but it's fun. Just deal with this... this Watch it, and you don't want to watch Redman Red part. Fast forward it, and go on watch Captain Hook run away from an evil crocodile. And wants to kill him, and laugh, because that's what we love about it. It's me and Captain Hook are the best parts in this movie. They're the funniest parts. That's what I always say. They're, it's like watching a Looney Tunes show. So. Bye bye guys. And never when there's a smile on your heart, there's no better time to subscribe and comment down below and like and their details goodbye. Bye. Mean guy who'd shoot the cannon and shoot the, his own crew on the ship and he was he was a menacing villain. He was a menacing opponent for Peter Pan. Now let me see, where was I?